Invoicing in CaseWorks can be done through three different locations. The first location has to deal with the case main screen itself, and that is in the column called Actions on the right-hand side for each individual case, you will find a button that says specifically Invoice, as I'm demonstrating by pointing out each invoice buttons in the Actions columns. So you simply have to push on the case that you want for Invoice to generate that specific invoice. So now we know we're going to be invoicing on this particular case. Another manner in which you can invoice a case is after you have actually engaged the case by clicking on the work case button from the actions column. Once you get to the time slip screen of that particular case, you will see at the upper hand right hand side there's a button that says invoice. So if you click on that invoice button, it's going to invoice for that particular case. Another location from which you can invoice your client is after you have engaged that case and working on it. We've already shown you where you can invoice of the upper right hand corner on the, the time slips, but if you are also click on the expenses button on the left hand side, then you will see a button up here for uh, the ability to you to invoice. So there are three locations of which you can actually generate an invoice. Main case screen, time slips, and invoice. No matter which route you travel to get to the invoicing, once you're here it all looks the same. You have some options here. For example, you can tell the program to generate invoices on all items or select a date range. You can also select the style of invoice, detailed or summary. You can put the invoice date number here to whatever you want. That will appear on the invoice itself. And then if you did do the date frame or the date range, it would be the date from and the date to. The billing instructions automatically has been played in there for you uh, by Caseworks. You can override it now. And any footer you want on the invoice, you can do that here right now. So once you get to this particular point of the invoicing, hit the, hit the button that says Draft Invoice. And then the program is going to show you what that invoice is going to look like at this juncture. So if you're happy with this particular invoice, then all you got to do now is finalize the invoice in order to put a invoice number on it because right now it says draft. So you're going to hit the uh, finalize this invoice. And the program is asking, is that really what you want to do? Yes. We have just finalized that invoice. We now can email it to your client, to anybody that you want. You can put a, a carbon copy. You can do a, a blind copy. And any notes here specifically to show the client whatever you're sending them. Now, if you wanted to download a, and take a copy, uh, take a look at that invoice, you can do that right here by simply pushing that button. And then that shows you the invoice as it would come out. Or you can simply just email this invoice to the individuals here and you are have completed your invoice.